today I'm going to be working in my small Dina Wakely media journal. I want to use a bunch of different mediums today, my scribble sticks, some gel plates, and I'm even going to try to get a little sewing in and hopefully I can show you using my sewing machine. So the piece of paper I'm working on is the linen watercolor type paper and this time I'm not going to gesso it. So I want to go ahead and get it a bit wet to start with in order to kind of help the scribble sticks work. And then I just want to start throwing in some color. I love this yellow and I'm not concerned. I want to try to leave some white space and work on a band across the center because that's not something I'm used to doing. So that is the goal for today, to learn to use my white space. And it would seem that he's not liking my brush, so maybe wetting it first was not a good idea because my paper seems to be lifting. So there I've got down some of the yellow I love. I want to go in with some of the blue now. And just kind of keep working on this center area here. Let me wet it some more. Oops, I'm sorry. There you go. I have to remember when I use my tall brushes, the camera likes to focus on the end of it. <coughs> and now this is turning, <coughs> excuse me, this is turning a bit more green than I had wanted it to. Um, so I'm going to go back in with some of that cheddar, but that we'll see what happens. And now I'm getting more green. Okay. Maybe let's play a little bit with the gel plates. Just add some of that. And since we got the green, I might as well work with it. I'm going to go and try to add in some of the olive. Okay, so I don't like that green that's showing up in the background. I'm going to try to get rid of it if I can and work with some of the purple. Let's see if I can do anything with this. Maybe get some texture going across it. Now that, that I am loving. Let's see if I can duplicate that. There we go. Now it's moving along. Now we are getting somewhere. Okay, so I love that purple on there. I want to, let's see. I love that band right there. So let's see, do I want to add anything else or am I good with that? Maybe just get a little bit more of the yellow down in here like that. See if I can get it a little bit more in here without turning it too green. I really like when that cheddar is super brilliant. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to put the gel plates aside. I have my colors I used. I'm going to put those up here. I want to get this dried a bit. I'm grabbing a new grunge stamp that I bought that I've fallen in love with. It's by the Technique Junkies and it's called Wasted and it's this great texture. So I'm going to peel the sticky off the background here so I can work with it. Actually, with this being in a book, I'm not going to use 
my glass background because I'm afraid if I do that I won't have enough control to go with the curve of the book. So I'm just going to do that, add some of that texture in there. Get some down in here, maybe a little in the middle, and kind of keep the eye moving across that area that I wanted it to. Now I want to add something on this. I do have some Dina Wakely Media tapes, but I think that one will blend in. And maybe I'll save these till the page is totally dry. And what I want to look for is in one of my previous videos, I had made a collage pile of some Dina cutouts. So I'm going to look to see if any of them feel like they're going to go with this. Let's see. There's one of the birdies. I think she could work or even her but they're blending in a little too much maybe the green let's see I don't want the birds I definitely want one of the girl faces maybe that one because it's got some of the green and the burgundy already and I'll go ahead and be sure to link to the video below where I made these cutouts so you guys can see how I did it. That one has a little bit more of the green in it. Let's see. Oh, but that one's really cool too. It's going to be a tough decision. Let's see. Nope. That one's got too much texture. She might work. That one, the color's off. Okay. So now what I do want is I'm going to grab one of my Distress Ink Media tabs. And I think I want one of the smaller ones. We will see. We will see. I think I really like her on there. But I need her to stand out just a little bit, so maybe I need to grab a cream color card instead. Let's see what I have in my stash here. page like that maybe but this is going to need a little bit of a color on it so I want to go ahead and get that grunging out again to help this guy blend in Whoop. just having too much fun playing here there we go and some grunge then maybe just get some of the blue. 
but a little too much. Just gonna wipe that up a little bit. Wanna get a little bit of the purple and cheddar on here. Get these guys wet again. Because I want the tag to stand out a little bit, but not so much that it doesn't look like it belongs on the page. Do some polka dots, just try to get some color on the tag. The overflows, that's okay. There we go, that's starting to work better now. So there's my girl and there's her tag that she's going to sit on in the journal. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to move my journal and I'm going to move my stamps out of the way. And I'm going to bring up my brother's sewing machine. Don't know if you guys will be able to see what I am doing, but I am going to go ahead and sew the girl onto this, and then I will show you how it worked afterwards. And I just got this, so I'm still learning it. I'm going to try to go slowly here. And of course my thread's not working. <laughs> So I'm not sure how much of that you were able to see, but here you can see how I went ahead and I sewed the piece onto my tag. And now what I want to try that I have not tried, and I need to somehow get my camera so it can come down, is I'm going to attempt to sew it into the journal page itself. Now what's neat about this brother sewing machine that I have is that if you can see this, it comes with an extra wide adapter foot. So this way I could fit a journal on here, unlike normally where you would just have a little space here. It has this whole adapter. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my journal. And the page is mostly dry. I'm going to bend it over like this and attempt to stick it into the sewing machine. Whoops. And I haven't done this before, so this will be an adventure, folks. Okay, now I've got to try to position my tag where I want it. And we will see how this goes, because this is an experiment I'm doing for the first time live with you guys all watching. Okay. into a corner because I can't turn the journal into here so I'm just gonna um, reverse this I'm just gonna add some fun people. Oops. 
try not to knock my water all over the place. Well, this is a fun experiment. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this a bit, how it's coming out though, because it's kind of cool. I need to move this a little. There we go. And I'm trying to sew this backwards and I have to hold down a button, so I'm not sure how this is going to... Oh, there we go. got it where I want it. <laughs> now we'll go forward and finish off sewing the tan down. There we go. Well that was very cool. A little challenging. But I love the look of that. So let me get this out of the way and turn it off so I can show you guys. So first we have the pattern on the background, but check that out now. It is totally hand sewn into here and it gave it kind of like a cool extra look that I really, I really like. I think what it needs now is I need some white. So I'm going to get another one of my new stamps out. This one is called Stencil Rings and I want to get some white on here if I can. I may end up having to use splatters or just some doodling. But I'm going to try this new Distress Ink White Picket Fence that I have. Thing will give us because it is a distress ink so it can rub off when more media is added over it but I just want to give it a shot and see there we go I'm getting a little bit of white in there not a lot but a little and then I had a quote that I wanted to add to the page and this is one of the Diane Reevely quotes. So let me get this tidied up a little. It says, enjoy the little things in life for one day you'll look back and realize they were the big things. So I want to get that up there. And I think I had wanted to try to sew those in, but I don't see that happening. <laughs> so let me see if I have, um, maybe my blue dots I'll use. I think to make it a little easier, I'm just going to go ahead and use some of these Lucky Thumb Sticky Adhesive Dots. I haven't seen them, they're great for adding dimension.
need something else. I'll make sure you guys can see that. You can see all the sewing and the colors. But because that brown, there's no other brown, I don't know if I need a little bit more brown on the page. I almost want a little bit of shimmer. So I'm thinking I'm going to take a little bit of the Dino Weekly Media Penny and maybe I'll do a little bit of splatter with that. See if I can get that to splatter a bit and then that'll be what I'm looking for on the page here. I don't know how this is going to work. We'll find out. I have a feeling this is going to dry into the page and I want to keep there before I overdo it because you know once the shimmer comes out all bets are off let's see if we can get that shine going for you see how that shimmers now perfect and that brought in some of the brown from the cardstock into the background so I hope this page gave you some inspiration. If you liked it, remember to go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If I love to hear feedback, so leave comments below on any more videos you'd like to see or any questions you had on any of the materials I use. And as always, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and you'll stay up to date on all my latest videos. So I hope you found some inspiration. Get out those scribble sticks. Get out that sewing machine. And just have some fun. Thanks for stopping by, and happy journaling.